Hey guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick tour of my mining room that I built uh, within my laundry. Um, I'll take you through here. So this is my laundry. This is the... So this setup here, I had to add this door. This used to be just a walkway. Um, so I've put the door on. Uh, also put this plywood in here to sort of fill in this old window space. Um, and this is my air intake into the room. So I've got to kind of leave this door open to sort of let the, the cool air come through and go into this intake. Um, I had to install a latch up here to keep the kids out, but I'll cut straight to it and go in there and show you. So, it's quite loud in here, so I had to install um, some of the sound deadening material on the doors, which helps quite significantly with the, with the noise um, on the back wall as well. There's some sound deadening material. So, what I've got in here is I've got a an ASIC miner, which is an Avalon 1246. And down here, I've got a GPU mining rig, which is a graphics card, uh, it's a 3090 graphics card, which was hashing at about 120 mega hashes when I first got it. Um, it's currently only hashing at about 50 or 60 mega hashes, only because um, I've turned it right down, the um, temps were getting up there, the thermal pads need to be replaced. So I've ordered some on Amazon, uh, which will be here in a few days. So I might even make another video to show you guys how to replace thermal pads on a 3090 um, and do the thermal paste while I'm at it as well. We've got the thermal paste here, which arrived the other day. We've got some um, MX5 thermal compound, which has some pretty good reviews. So we'll see how that goes. Just waiting on the thermal pads to turn up so I can start tearing that bad boy down. Um, so this is the Avalon, which I've only had it for about a month now, and this little fan filter on the front here, it's just out of an old air conditioner, but it just used to sort of catch the dust before it goes into the rig, and I know it's not the most efficient dust filter, but uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of dust in there, it kind of, it catches some dust, and that's kind of what I wanted. Um, as you guys know, the Avalon, well, not the only the Avalon, but ASIC miners, they create a lot of heat. So what I've done in this room, I've kind of sealed it all up so I could have an air conditioner, um, which helps quite a lot. It's, it's pretty hot where I live um, in Australia. So I've got the air con set to 16 degrees. Um, the temperature within the room, it kind of sits at about um, 28 degrees usually. Um, which is pretty good. The, the ASIC miner temperature range is negative zero, or sorry, negative five through to 35 degrees. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you guys up here what, what's going on with the ASIC miner. So, Currently hashing at about 86 tera hashes, uh, which is which is pretty good. That's that's they advertise at 85, so the average is 85. It's been up now for three days. I had to turn it off um, a few days ago because we had a bit of a lightning storm, and I didn't want to risk having it plugged in and having it uh, sort of cook in a lightning storm with a surge. So I'm using nice hash for my ASIC miner, uh, sorry, for my GPU mining rig, which as you can see, it's only hashing at about 57 mega hashes. It usually hashes about 120, but I've, like I said before, because I'm changing those thermal pads out, I've just turned it right down um, in the meantime until I can, I can do that. The temperatures were just getting a little bit too high. So yeah guys, all up, this is um, this is my room. I'll try and make a video um, in a few weeks once my thermal pads arrive and I'll tear down that card and might even make a how-to video for you guys to show you how to replace thermal pads and, and thermal paste and clean it all up. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time.